Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to recover this air conditioner. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do, because I've told you in past videos I'm not real interested in recovering liquid through a recovery machine. They say you can do it, but I've had a lot of them damaged because of it. So I'm going to show you how to do this without recovering liquid through the recovery machine. So, uh, gauge set here showing the temperature or the pressures. And we have a recovery cylinder right here. Now, what I'm going to do, because I have the uh, lines hooked up. Let's see if we can see those a little better. Probably not a whole lot better there. The liquid line which is the red line, is hooked to liquid, and the uh, suction line is to blue. Okay, we are not going to open blue. Let's get back up here. We are only going to open the red valve, and we're going to only open it after the machine is running. So I'm going to start this machine it's going to start increasing the pressure and producing liquid in the liquid line and I'm going to push it into this cylinder. Now this cylinder actually has a vacuum in it and so uh, by the way I have bled all these lines everything's bled out so it's pure refrigerant that's in it what I'm going to do is start the machine up, open the high side valve that's on this side, and it's going to push liquid refrigerant into the cylinder. Now this cylinder is in a vacuum. You're, most of the time you're not going to be able to have one that's in a vacuum. But I was, uh, this one had 22 in it, and I've, uh, I'm going to put uh, 410A in it, so I evacuated it but it works either way it's a little faster if the cylinder has a vacuum in it but obviously you can't always have an empty cylinder so let's get started okay my air conditioner's on I'm ready to start using the unit compressor to do to get the liquid out of the unit and into the cylinder Okay, one thing I wanted to know, uh, let's get this thing so it's zeroed out. Okay, or at least halfway zeroed out. Uh, we got it on a scale, and we're going to open up the liquid line, and we're going to open up the uh, valve to the cylinder, and let's see what happens. Okay, with all my shaking around here and stuff, we you can see we're adding refrigerant into the cylinder. So we're getting close to two pounds because we're taking out of the liquid line as the compressor runs, we're taking out of the liquid line and we're pushing it into the cylinder because there's a higher pressure in the high side than there is in the cylinder. Okay, uh, I want you to kind of note here, the pressures are dropping down in the, uh, on the gauge set, and they're gonna continue dropping down. And when we get to the point where they kind of stop dropping, then we're going to have all we can take out of this machine without using the recovery machine. 
And notice we're about 80 pounds now on the low side and dropping fairly rapidly. It's actually putting quite a bit of refrigerant into the cylinder. Let's see where we're at in the cylinder. Okay, we're looking about four and a half pounds now. So it's continuing to move it. So let's just watch it. Okay, I want you to take a look at that low side. Uh, you can see we're about 51 and a half, and it's kind of settled down there. We're probably not going to get any more refrigerant out of this machine using the compressor to push into the cylinder. Now let's take a look at how much weight we've actually pushed out of this machine. Okay, if you look at this, we're looking about five pounds two. I have my cord's kind of messing me up here, but uh, about five pounds, two ounces, I would say. So that's what we managed to pull out with just using the compressor. Okay, looking at the uh, model plate, we've got six pounds, nine ounces is the refrigerant charge for this machine. Oops, doicky turned off. Okay. Okay. So I've taken out almost all the refrigerant from this. There's a little bit more for the line set because this thing takes a little bit lower, more than the minimum. Now all I have to do from this point on is shut the unit down, put the recovery machine on, and pull the rest of it out. I'm not going to put the recovery machine on this one. Uh, I've shown you how to do that before. And uh, so it's not a big deal. But we've recovered the vast majority of the refrigerant and we have not destroyed our recovery machine. Because remember I told you, you can put the recovery machine onto it, onto this machine, pull liquid out if you want to. However, I have seen a lot of recovery machines be destroyed by that liquid slugging. They say that it'll, it'll survive it. Uh, I have many machines out there that did not survive it. And I taught this thing for many years and my students broke machines right and left. So this gets the liquid out of the machine. All you got left is a pound or two uh, that you have to pull out with a recovery machine. So hopefully this made some sense to you. But if the compressor runs, you can pull refrigerant out and get rid of most of the liquid in the machine without using the recovery machine. And that's it on uh, recovering with the compressor. Now I want to tell you, it is not the complete job. You have not recovered everything. You do have to use a recovery machine for the rest of it. Okay.